The term correlational design refers either to studies that do not employ any form of manipulation, of the independent variable at least, or to studies that don't even identify an independent variable, because the hypothesis doesn't specify a causal relationship. So in correlational studies, we don't manipulate or select, we just measure. Now if an independent variable is identified, any causal inference needs to be made with extreme caution, because temporal precedence of the cause is really hard to establish, never mind all the other threats to internal validity, especially selection. Just like with experimental and quasi-experimental designs, there are a couple of standard correlational designs you should be familiar with. First of all, there's the cross-sectional design, in which a cross-section of a population, a usually large group, is considered at one specific point in time. Usually a fairly large number of properties are measured at once. The aim is to investigate the association between variables in a way that accurately describes a larger population. Within the large sample, groups may be compared, but it's important to note that participants were not selected beforehand to represent a level of an independent variable, like in quasi-experimental studies with individual differences variables. The term survey study, or survey design, is sometimes used to denote a cross-sectional design, since these studies often make use of surveys. But this is an unfortunate term because the method of measurement really has nothing to do with the research setup. Another type of study is a time series design. A time series design can refer to one person being measured at several points in time, usually with many measurement moments in quick succession and in fixed intervals. In some social science fields, the term time series design is used interchangeably with the term longitudinal design. But longitudinal design generally refers to a group being measured at several points in time, so this can lead to confusion. The term time series is also used for quasi-experimental designs, where one or more conditions are measured repeatedly before and after an intervention or placebo is administered. The term panel design, or time series cross-sectional design, is used for non-experimental studies that follow more than one individual over a longer period of time, without an intervention or placebo. In panel designs, the same group of people is measured at several points in time. A special case of a panel design is a cohort design, where the participants are all the same age, or started a new school or job at the same time. Okay, it's easy to get these terms mixed up with the terms longitudinal and repeated measures designs. Generally speaking, longitudinal refers to any study that follows one or more participants over a long period of time, whether it's experimental, quasi-experimental, or correlational. Time series design usually refers to correlational studies of just one person measured at fixed intervals. The term time series can also refer to groups of individuals being measured repeatedly, but then the term is associated with quasi-experimental designs. The term time series design is sometimes also used for experimental studies, although the term N is one study is more popular in this context. The term repeated measures implies an experimental study where at least one independent variable was manipulated or selected. So to summarize, in correlational designs, researchers distinguish three types of studies that differ on the dimensions of individuals and time. Cross-sectional designs concern the measurement of many individuals, usually on many variables at one point in time. Time series designs follow only one individual over several points in time. Panel studies combine both dimensions by considering a group of the same individuals at several points in time.